Welcome to TransLogic. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. CES 2012, a place you normally find tablets and flat screens and home theater components. But more and more, the automotive industry is getting in on this. So today, we're talking to two of the most important people in the automotive industry. Dr. Zecha from Mercedes, and from Ford, Mr. Alan Mullally. They both have a couple good ideas about what's coming up. All right, we are here with Dr. Zecha, the CEO from Mercedes-Benz. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So pretty much every auto manufacturer these days has their own version of infotainment, and to be honest, they're all very similar. But you guys have added something new with the DICE program, right? Tell me a little bit about that. Well, that's kind of dilemma. On the one hand, you want to provide your customers as much as possible with the total connectivity of the net. On the other hand, you're in a car and you have the responsibility to drive a car, to control a car, to make sure that you don't go into an accident. To address this conflict, it's very important how you interact with your car. Voice recognition is one way to do it, but it's not good to go on a touchpad and to try to find the right, right place. Right, while you're driving you and, 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 and you're also looking up. Crash and yeah. squeeze and so. We are today able to interpret your movements and with that we are just with some swiping, some heading with your hand there and there, get access to whatever kind of connection you want, whether social networks, navigation information, or in-car diagnostics, uh, or any of whatever, that. or entertainment, and you can access all of that just with a gesture of your hand, so take that away, I want to talk with that one. Are you going to be able to program each of the moves, like if you don't want a song, you would like spin your arm, or maybe we you look like a baseball player calling symbols? We signals. don't want to ask you to, to learn a new language with your hands. Right, that's but true. But just intuitively do. If you want something, you just take it. If you don't want it, you send Move it away. Move it out of the way. And, and that's, that's, it. that's very simple. And with that, you clearly understand in a minute what you have to do to get the right commands going. Yeah. What current technology excites you the most within the Mercedes brand? We are renowned for safety. And we are taking that ever further. Connectivity is a major enabler. We can know beforehand what kind of hazards are approaching you and prevent them from harming you. So you're telling me if I'm driving along, a person runs out in front of me, it can analyze whether the best move is either to brake or will it automatically swerve or is it just still giving the driver that response? It still can automatically do that. This is something which I'm driving in prototypes today on our test tracks and which will be available to our customers within the next two years. The question is how do you hire the people who run out on your test track? That's, that's the tough one. Well, we have dummies in the car and dummies outside. <laughs> as long as the things are not working perfectly. Yes, yeah. yes, on both sides probably, right? <laughs> Okay, so we are here with Alan Mullally, the CEO of Ford. Thank you so much for being with us. Good to see you again. Again, we were here last year, and you guys premiered the Focus Electric. We did. And this year, you guys have something new. Tell me a little bit about that. The Fusion and the Fusion family of electric vehicles. In the Fusion, we have a Fusion petrol version, we have a hybrid version, and we have a plug-in hybrid. And that's something that I think is pretty unique to Ford, I might be wrong, but that you guys are taking one car and offering multiple powertrains within that, not just different engine choices. Now, this is exactly right. The real value with electric vehicles, the thing that's going to get it into the mass market in volume is going to be that we keep getting the cost down. Also the size of the batteries, the weight of the batteries. Sure. So the neatest thing about the Fusion is they're actually made on the same line. All those versions are made on the same assembly line and about 70% of the parts are exactly the same. So we got scale now. A lot of now, sharing. A lot of sharing so we can offer the consumer the most affordable vehicles. It's a beautiful car. We had a chance to take a look at it earlier. Did you want to say that again? About yes, that? sorry. Um, yeah. <clears throat> it's a beautiful car. We had a chance to look at it earlier. We can't ignore this beautiful machine behind us. Absolutely. Uh, it's making its North American debut here. It's the it Evos. Is. Tell me about it. Well, this is also a concept vehicle that really shows the DNA and the styling and also the technical capability that we envision going into all the Ford vehicles going forward. This is also demonstrating being connected to the cloud and where we're going, going to servers, more personalized information, making you not only a better driver, but having a better experience inside the car. And what are some of the things on this car that you think technology-wise might make its way into some future Fords? Six-speed transmission, the electronics to go with that. Right. You're gonna see cross-traffic alerts when you back out of a parking lot. You have a phase rate antenna that can see the cars coming at you either way. Will we see four gold wing doors? Probably not, but it sure looks good. It looks beautiful, absolutely. Yeah. We want a little bit simpler design and a little bit less weight. Sure, absolutely. Well, it seems like a lot's changed for you guys in just a year, so hopefully we'll see you guys again next year uh, with even more great news. Well, absolutely, but you know it's really neat to see you again. 
to see the progress in the partnership and the collaboration and to have it be able to now be available as even a better experience in an automobile. We are so proud to be leading this area. And I think other people here who are here see that and it kind of inspires them and they're like, hey, Ford's doing it, we gotta step up our game too. I've noticed that we have some other automobile companies here. Yeah, yeah. So Trying we'll see you next year with the latest and greatest. Absolutely. And remember, we, we gotta we take care of all your automobile needs at Ford. Yeah, well, if those automobile me needs include getting me that car, then I'm in. <laughs> That's great. Okay, well, we can help you with a friends and family race. <laughs> I love it, okay, <laughs> thanks so much. Okay. All right, well, I feel smarter just talking to those guys. And I gotta say, just having their leaders here shows how much these manufacturers truly care about technology and how it's changing the automotive industry. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. We'll see you next week.